Yo, what's going on guys? It's Dirty here bringing a new video. So today's video is actually, I'm going to talk about the Black Ops 3 beta. I'm going to talk about what I like, what I don't like, Black Ops 3 as a whole. But I am absolutely loving this game. This game has been so much fun. It has been a challenge and it has been a complete blast. You know, started out last Tuesday night. Some people got pre-access. I, I snuck in, I snuck my way in and uh, started the grind. So at this point, you know, I maybe have like 15 good like clip like quad feeds like good clips that i really like like i have been going really hard i've been really enjoying it you know i've had my moments where it's really frustrating and it's not that much fun but that's usually after i've played for a while you know get into a bad mood but i this morning i got on played a couple games hit a couple clips i'm actually enjoying this game a lot black ops 3 is a blast and i actually cannot wait until oh, the game actually comes out so i'm gonna pinpoint some topics Tell you guys a little about it what i like and stuff like that so let's get into the sniping so you guys have heard everything about the aim assist the aim assist so, there is no aim assist so there is no aim assist in black ops 3 and it's only for the snipers i don't know if they're just trying to make snipers not as good as what they used to be or if they think they're overpowered or what but having no aim assist definitely makes this game a challenge it isn't as easy as it used to be. You can't just drag scope over somebody and expect that bullet to hit them with the aim assist stopping. No, you have to pinpoint it. You have to be good. So the scoping in, you know, scoping in, uh, as far as the time goes with the locust, it's it's a perfect timing. I don't think it's too slow or too fast. And another thing is the bolt action. I don't like that there's only one bolt action sniper. I actually I don't know. I don't know what the fourth classified sniper is but the bolt action locust is really good i really like the game it has some problems sometimes like you can't really yy or anything well there's certain there's certain ways you can't reload and then yy like it has to cock it back again and it's really weird but you kind of get the hang of it and there's stuff that you know you can do no you can't do so another sniper is called the draken and it's a semi-automatic 20 magazine sniper and there's no recoil on it boys there is no recoil you can spray that thing and it's also a one hit kill above the waist so it's kind of really overpowered clips with it don't really look that good i think at this point the xpr still looks a little bit better just because there's no recoil this thing is really overpowered and then the third sniper that's available is the p06 and it is a burst fire sniper rifle that doesn't first shoot when you pull the trigger it takes a second and it has to like lock like it, it's just it's really weird but the Locust is a great sniper, and I'm really happy with that. So as far as movement goes, you guys have seen all the wall running, you know, the double jumping, the sliding. It's pretty crazy to see. But once I first got into the game and started using it, it's not that bad. I don't really ever get annoyed with other people using it. I find myself killing myself a lot because of the wall running, and I can't double jump up to a ledge. And there's so many spots that you guys can fall off the maps, and it... it it's it makes it for a good time you know it's frustrating dying from falling but you know it's okay there also is fall damage but i haven't actually died from falling and also another thing there is no reload cancel you can't cancel your reload by sprinting because anytime you sprint you can reload so anytime you can reload forever and ever so one thing that is kind of really frustrating is the specialties you guys have seen some of the specialist stuff, you know, people with the crossbow or the one-shot pistol. Well, there's some that are really, really annoying. So there's the, the first one I'm going to talk about is Glitch. You know, this guy's running and all of a sudden he disappears and he leaves a shadow behind him. He teleports to the last place he was like five seconds ago, just completely disappears. You know, it's kind of annoying. That one's not too bad. There's also the kinetic armor where you turn golden and you're harder to kill unless it's a headshot. That one, it, it's, I haven't seen it too much. I've actually just tried using it last game, and oh to a red gunner, it's not that good. Like, they just melt through it, but a sniper is going to have to hit him a couple times before the gold armor goes away. And also, the one that I hate the most is Rejack. You guys saw the video that I posted the other day. It was like my only Black Ops 3 complaint. There was two people. I killed one, killed the other. They both come back alive. One of them kills me. I don't get any kills for it. It was it was really annoying and it really sucks how fast people earn the specialists again. Like I swear it was like the next minute I saw the same guy doing the rejack again. 
but uh and also another one is the minigun so there's all there is a robot there's actually a robot person you can choose and the specialist you get a minigun out of your arm and it seems really overpowered i've seen a lot of people just absolutely tear with it and you know it kind of sucks but hey we'll see if they nerf it or whatever and then there's another one the invisibility i haven't seen that one too much that one just came out when they upped the level cap yesterday but you can go completely invisible i don't really notice it that much i'll have to try it out and see if i can just you know walk up to somebody and not die but some of the specialties can be twerked twerked i actually just said twerk tweaked a little bit and you know make them a little better like even the bow and arrow that's kind of overpowered the one shot pistol that that i mean that's kind of a destiny thing you know just completely jacked that oh i'm not gonna go there okay so as far as servers go the servers have been terrible in black ops 3 beta it's been a horrible time connecting to other people or even the servers you know they fixed the one thing early on that was like couldn't connect to games but now the problem is you can't connect to other people i haven't been playing with too many people lately but as far as trick shotters go trying to get a team of six they can't do it like it they just can't connect to each other it's just probably a beta server thing who knows it'll, it'll be fixed for the xbox one but yeah and then as far as perks go all the perks are pretty good i'm bummed that there's no toughness I find myself getting hit and my sniper shot just throws off. I mean, that makes sense. That would make sense. If you're if you're holding a gun, you're shooting at somebody and you get hit, you're going to get thrown off. But that's why it was a perk in all the other Call of Duties. I wish they would have had it here, but they don't. And then last but not least, the paint shop. The paint shop is awesome. Adding camos to your weapons, knives, whatever. Really cool, really cool original idea that they had on that one. But... You know, as a game, I really am enjoying this. I have not enjoyed a game this much for the release, even though it's a beta, ever, ever. This this is so much fun. I've been getting a lot of support from you guys. You guys are saying I'm absolutely killing it. I actually, I really love all the comments, all the tweets. You guys are great. I just wanted to bring you my thought on Black Ops 3. Maybe if you haven't played it yet, it might give you some tips for what to do in the Xbox One version. Or wait all the way until when it comes out. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. Those are my words. I just put this over a little commentary. Um, but yeah. You might have seen the clip. If not, I'll play the clip for you that was in this game. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Dirty. I'm out. Oh my god.